and welcome back to my channel. So in this video today, we're gonna be doing this Olympic inspired gold makeup look. I really, really love watching the Olympics and I felt so inspired to incorporate Team USA and this gold look. I just think it's so fun, it's so unique, and it's definitely very Olympic. So if you guys like this look, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you wanna see more videos from me. And if you guys wanna know how to get this gold makeup look inspired by the Olympics, then just keep on watching. Alright, so to start this look out, I'm using my Tarte Flawless Primer on a Real Techniques brush, and I'm just blending this right into my skin. So for foundation today, I'm using one of my favorites, my all-time favorite actually, and this is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. I'm just applying this, and this is a super full coverage foundation that's very dewy and actually looks really, really beautiful on the skin, and I just love it so much. So for concealer, I'm using my fave right now, which is the Tarte Shape Tape in Light. It's a really, really nice consistency, also a full coverage product, and I just really love the way this blends out with a beauty blender. The shade I'm using is light, so it's very, very nice to highlight with and conceal. So I like to go in and set everything using a translucent powder, and here I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder, but sometimes I do use the Cody Airspun, which is a great drugstore option if you use the naturally neutral shade. It's a very similar to the Laura Mercier translucent. So now I just like to set my entire face using my Urban Decay foundation powder in light warm. Jumping right into brows, I am using Medium Brown Dip Brow by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I like to start in my arch first, really map that out and get it super arched, and then I bring it down to my tail. And then I like to go to the front of my brow and flick my brush up in hair-like strokes. It makes it look a little bit more natural, and I like to bring it inwards a little bit to create a thicker shape. So I always start with the arch first, bring it back down, and then I go towards the front. So lately I've been liking to use a concealer to clean up my brows. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape. And if you do have some time on your hands to try this, I really, really love the way it looks. It just makes your brows look so good. They look so defined and I just, I just really, really love the way it's been looking. So I've been trying this lately and I have been really liking it. So to prime my lids today, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, the same concealer I used under my eyes. This is a multi-purpose product that you could also use as a primer, which is really, really great. So now I'm jumping into the Nubian palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm taking this orange shade and I'm just buffing this right into the crease, not being super precise about it, and I am using a Sigma E40 brush, which is great for these type of crease colors. I love this brush, I swear. I use it almost every day because it's just that good. So now I'm taking a pigment by Kat Von D. This is the Metal Crush Eyeshadow in Thrasher, and this is a really nice true gold shade. I'm applying this to the outer corner and then the inner corner, which is creating a halo effect. I'm leaving that entire lid blank, and I'm just gonna connect these two together until they're nice and blended. I also like to do this on the bottom lid as well. When I am going for more of a halo effect look for my eyeshadow, I like to do this to the top and also the bottom. So make sure you leave the center blank. And also if you wanna get some more pigment out of this eyeshadow, you can spray your brush with a little Fix Plus or water and it will really make that eyeshadow pop so much. And that's what I did and it came out so beautifully. I really, really love this gold shade so, so much. So now I'm taking the Dose of Colors Ideal Duo and I'm just taking the primer base first. I'm applying this to my lid. And this shade is in a Lemon Drop. It's so beautiful. It's a really nice yellowy gold shade. So now I'm taking the pigment, which is a beautiful metallic yellowy gold, and it sparkles so much under this light, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. And I'm just keeping that right on the center of the lid only, so it gives a nice pop of that shimmer. And I also like to take this pigment as well and apply it to the lower lash line right in the center to give a nice pop as well on that lower lash line. So now I'm taking MAC Nylon, which is my favorite inner corner highlight, and I'm just applying this to the inner corners of my eyes, and I'm also going to apply this to my brow bone because it's going to give a nice shimmery effect, and it goes really, really great with this gold look. So next I'm taking a darker brown from the Nubian palette, and I'm applying this to the upper crease. I'm keeping it pretty high up because I really wanted to define my eyes so they didn't get lost in all this gold. 
So I'm just keeping that up and then I bring it out kind of like into a cat-like wingy shape. So now I'm applying some false lashes and these are the Flutter Lashes Intoxicating. I've been loving these so much and I swear I've just been reaching for these every time I do my makeup. They're so long and thick but they don't hide any of your eye makeup which is really nice. I just think they're so beautiful and they complement so many looks. So now I'm taking the Tarte Lash Paint and I'm applying this to the lower lashes. And I love this mascara because it doesn't clump, which is so, so great. I look for that in the mascara. So for eyeliner, I am using a brown liner. This is from L'Oreal, and I'm just applying this to the waterline. You can use a black, but I'm just going to use a brown today because I feel like it goes better with the gold. So for bronzer, I am using the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil, which is an amazing bronzer because it smells like chocolate, and who doesn't love a bronzer that smells like chocolate? I also really love the color of this because it looks so great against my skin. If you do have my skin tone, this will really compliment you because it's not too muddy. It's just the perfect, perfect shade. I also like to bring this to the front of my cheeks to give me a nice warm glow because my skin is a little flat right now. And I really want to bring back some life to it, so I always bring this kind of onto my cheeks like a blush. So for my nose contour, I am using the same bronzer, which is the Chocolate Soleil. And I'm using this on a Sony Kashuk brush. I'm just going in and defining my nose. And another reason why I love this bronzer is because it is also really great for nose contouring. It's just the perfect shade, and that's why I love it so much. So now I'm just blending it out with my face powder to make it look super seamless. So for blush, I am using my Morphe 9N blush palette. And I love this palette because it is full of nude blushes, which look really great with any makeup look. They just complement pretty much anything. And I just mixed a few shades together and I got this beautiful peachy shade. So now I'm just highlighting using my Wet n Wild highlighter. This is from the Fergie collection and it's in Hollywood Boulevard, which is a beautiful gold shade, which of course went so well with this makeup look because we're doing all gold today, of course. So this is pretty gold on my skin and I think it's just really, really shimmery and beautiful. And it's a great drugstore highlight. You just cannot beat this. It's just amazing. So now I'm taking it on the bridge of my nose, and for lipstick today, I'm using a liquid lipstick from JD Glow Cosmetics. And I feel like liquid lipsticks that are gold are so hard to find. They're super unique, and it's just a gorgeous summery color that I really don't see a lot. But I think it really complements this gold eye look, and it would look really beautiful also with a brown smoky eye. Alright, so now I'm just setting my face with my Photo Focus Setting Spray from Wet n Wild. And this is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy it. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from me. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next tutorial.